Bonjour everyone. Welcome to another Diecast Showcase. Uh, so today we are going to be cracking open a bunch of stuff. Uh, I decided to go through a little bit of uh, the casts that I had in storage and pulled out a few that had uh, damage packaging basically, be it uh, bent cards, mostly cracked bubbles and whatnot. And we're going to Crack those open today since the packaging's already damaged. And uh, nice variety of things, mostly Hot Wheels uh, with a little with a little uh, trinket thrown in uh, uh, to just make it slightly off-brand there uh, as a total. So, without further ado, uh, we'll start off with uh, some main lines uh, that have uh, cracked bubbles. Uh, so, let's start with... Uh, let's see, how about this one? Yeah start with this one so uh one unfortunately uh that has a cracked bubble is one that i wasn't necessarily hoping to open any time uh in the future but hey crack bubble so might as well open this square body shorty here 83 silverado out of the art cars with the uh, graffiti uh Livery challenge on one side accepted on the other, if I'm not mistaken, and we will validate that right away. So, here we go. Crack number one. Clean little split there. All right. Here it is. This is These are heavy. Eh? There's a lot of uh, metal on these casts. So, and uh, yeah, basically, very nice truck. Yeah. It is written accepted on that side, isn't it? Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, this is one of the coolest art cars I find ever since the series was uh, put out by Hot Wheels. Um, really nice paint as well. I've seen a couple of these uh, with the tamples removed and the, the color of the paint is really, really nice. A super dark burgundy metallic. Um, PR5s with the red uh, lip on there. Nice little contrast. Yeah. Short box, single cab. Fleet side, good old square, dual exhaust, yep, yellow windows, very cool, very, very cool, so I'm happy to have that one uh, cracked open there, and uh, why don't we stay in the square body realm here, another, uh, another uh, square body Hot Wheels that I have with a damaged bubble, it's going to be this uh, Gulf liveried Silverado. Definitely the bubble is pretty destroyed. And I actually picked this off the pegs directly like this. Probably the only reason why I was able to pick up this piece, actually, when the series came out. Uh, you know, card's a little bit dirty, a little bit... Uh, could be, it could be sun-worn, but at the same time, I haven't had it on display, so it could just be a vintage look on the card as well. Um, you know, I don't know. Either way, card uh, is not what we're going to be looking at here. We'll be going ahead and opening this bad boy. There we go. All right. Oh, yeah. This is a nice, nice piece. And this thing is really heavy. Obviously, you know, premium, some metal base, real riders. Nice golf livery. Uh, awesome also that uh, it's metal base because uh, as opposed to the chrome plastic base, grill looks ton a ton better, in my opinion, at least. You got the lights uh, whited in there. Nice badging on the side. Good golf. Yeah, it is a good golf. Love these uh, five slot wheels. Very, very cool. White interior. You got the uh, the boxed in uh, drop the rear end. You can actually uh, see the tires in there, which is really cool. Definitely a nice square. I'm happy about Having two more squares loose. All right. Um, next up, how about we do a little bit of a, a duo here? A duo. I noticed that um, um, I had this uh, Tokyo uh, 2020 uh, Toyota Tundra big lifted pickup truck had a really, really nastily destroyed bubble here. So I thought, hey, I'm cracking this one. Why don't I crack the equivalent 2000 GT as well at the same time, you know? These are really made to go together, and I do have the purple variation of these that I've shown in the past video already, so you know what? 
This one's got a little imperfection in the bubble. It's crushed on this side and it won't pop back out. Um, not, like, not really cracked or anything, but you know what? If I'm opening one, I'm going to open the other since I have another set that I'm keeping carded. Yeah, this one. I mean, yeah, bubble's so destroyed that, uh, you know, it barely takes any effort here to crack it open. A lot of trucks, eh? A lot of trucks. Oh boy, you really feel the difference in weight here compared to the square body. This thing's probably got twice the weight as the, uh, of the Tundra, definitely. Uh, no front and rear tampos on this one, but that should be pretty easy to pretty easy to add, eh? Pretty well defined uh, cast lines on here. I like the gold beadlock off-road wheels. Oh, a little bit of packaging on there. Nice uh, black chrome base, eh? Very very nice uh, black chrome base. It's copper 2011 on this thing already. 12 years since this casting was released or licensed at least probably 11 got a lot of plastic on here though plastic bed big plastic part on the roof the windows the base that does a that uh give him gives away to the front fascia lower body cladding here is all plastic obviously a bumper in the rear so a lot more plastic on this truck but really nice looking truck review mirrors yeah, it's going to be a fun little detailing project for sure. That, uh, and yeah, let's uh, check out the nice little, oh wow, look at that, eh? Wow, clean, clean crack right there. Very nice. Toyota 2000 GT. This is going to be my first Hot Wheels loose cast of this. I do have a Tamika version as well. Very rare one that uh, I believe I've shown already in a GDM showcase, but uh, yeah, I'll probably pull it out in another uh, car show video or something like that. Look at this nice, uh, nice cast. Again, I'm going to fully detail this one for sure. It's got the wing mirrors, which is awesome. It's crazy how uh, Toyota really based the design of this car on the Jag E-Type. It's so very clear in its design. You know, Jag E-Type came out about four years before the... Uh, 2000 GT and um, actually no more than that six years before 61 for the e-type and this came out in 67 both with straight sixes obviously 3.8 in the e-type versus uh, this little two liter the Yamaha developed 150 horsepower engine or 150 PS which I believe is about 147 horsepower so either way really really nice vehicle overall Cool livery as well. I like the fact that the front is lensed. Obviously, Steely's with the gold uh, lip. Always nice. Dual exhaust going to look great in silver. A little detailing projects that are going to be done there, that's for sure. Oh, gee. Oh, well. Pick that up a little bit later. Um, gee, uh, what's next? Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. This one, the bubble is completely destroyed as well. And I really wanted to crack this open. Uh, it's the Aston Martin DB5. Oh, yeah, uh, also, previous video that I posted, I said DB5 on the DBS from the James Bond Entertainment car, uh, which I find quite funny. Uh, I found quite funny after checking out the video. I only noticed after posting it, but uh, yeah, this is a DB5 this time, uh, for reals. And yeah, premium version. I do have the mainline version, the James Bond version of this, as well as a loose uh, orangey-red color variation. Yeah, as you can see there, the hole here is uh, pretty uh, huge. Talking about the hole in the bubble. And here we go. Another premium that is finally free. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Very good tampa work for the rear lights. Very, very well done. The Aston logo on the... Uh, the trunk handle uh, cover, nicely done uh, side air vent, great front end as well. Just missing license plates, eh? It's pretty much all that's missing. And I know the James Bond version of this car, be it with or without bullet holes, definitely does have the uh, license plate in. Hmm. Yeah, a little bit of a sloppy finish on that paint there from, as you can see, about the other side. 
A little bit cleaner, but you still got the runoff there. Yeah, the, uh, mesh style uh, reel riders. Very, very nice cast. Love the way the ex the uh, the exhaust come comes out in an angle on this car. Very, very cool. You can see how free flow that was, eh? Back in the '60s, catalytic converters were definitely not a thing at that point in time. So, and out of the package, I mean, yeah, it was a Fast and Furious car, but this could very well be a Bond car. Literally, the only thing that would be missing would be the plates to actually make it a Bond car. Uh, so, bear with me. We'll go uh, rescue that 2000 GT. There she is. All right. Kind of slipped under the table there. Let's see if it stays. There we go. Much better. All right. What should we open next? Oh, yeah. This one, I really, uh, this is probably going to push me to open the uh, P1800 Gasser that came out uh, beginning of the year. Uh, this one is in dire need of being opened because of some uh, bunny damage to the card. Yeah, my previous bunny actually ate a little bit of this card. It seemingly looked delicious while I wasn't looking. So, uh, yeah, I guess uh, I have to crack this open. Now, I'm a big Volvo fan, so this is a cast that I definitely was happy to see being released, especially in a slammed cage version. Look how low this thing sits, eh? It's so awesome. So awesome. Really, really like that. Dark green looks really, really good. Great tampa work. I love the color of the interior as well. Kind of like a caramel. Actually, Volvo has a color currently of leather. They call it amber. It kind of looks like that. Maybe a, a tad lighter. More on the butterscotch side, whereas this is really, uh, really more like, almost like dark caramel or something. Really good looking stuff. Love the eight spokes on there. Little eight spokes with the dish. Slams straight into the fenders. Nice little Volvo Amazon. Very, very cool. Very cool. Yeah, this will be shooting brake, I guess, since it's a two door. Yeah, this is definitely a great looking car. Put him in the handicap spot right here. Yeah? All right, next up. Uh, Last premium single we're going to crack open today uh, would be another Fast and Furious car, Chevy Nova, which I uh, showed off in my Best in Pairs videos, the last one I did, episode 3. Got a crack in the bubble on the back here, as you can see. It's not anything major, but uh, it's starting to come undone here as well in regards to the glue, So, plus a soft corner here. So, I mean, at the end of the day, we get her out of here. Because this is definitely my favorite style of Nova by far. And definitely my top three Chevy, uh, Chevy designs ever. So, looks so good. Cortez Silver with the Tuxedo Black. Go Fast Stripes. Get the uh, American Racing Torque Thrust uh, style wheels. Black spoke. Chrome lip. Really good. Really good tampo work on the front there with the SS in the middle. Got the side indicators done. Would have put a little bit of chrome on the door handle, honestly. Probably uh, had that. It's going to be a tiny touch, but just to slightly offset it from the silver paint. There you go. Rear details. Look at that badge, see? It's a Nova badge. Just a Nova. Nova by Chevy. There you go. Nova by Chevy, yeah. Nice black interior. Oh boy, sorry about that, guys. Trying to get the focus going on here. Come on, come on, you can do it. Focus on the Nova. There you go. All right. Yeah, really, really nice, uh, really nice car. Got the perfect rake, so definitely happy I got that one freed. 
here so we can actually see it. All right. I'm going to crack open. Actually, uh, had a couple of uh, my Moon Eyes uh, vehicles also fall off a shelf, and unfortunately, two got cracked bubbles. One would be the uh, Beetle pickup, which uh, got some uh, pretty substantial bubble damage on here. So I'm going to get that out, and as you can see, uh, the job was started for me. If we're talking about uh, getting this loose. So all metal. I was expecting this to maybe be plastic, but that's all metal. That's good. Chrome base, which is great for the bumper, because the front bumper, when it's not chrome, unless it's something very specific, I find it kind of looks off. Obviously, the aero discs are not the best wheels for uh, this cast, but uh, the livery, though, that Moon Eyes livery, classic yellow, really looks good. I do really uh, like this. It's begging for some front details. Maybe a couple little touches on the rear too, but uh, overall a really nice cast. And again, it's going to be a fun detailing job. Probably going to put some orange on the uh, on the light here, unless it's a backup light. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe it's a third stop light or spotlight. I don't know. I guess I'll be able to decide on that uh, depending on the direction I want to go. But, uh, yeah, really cool. Get the single uh, center exit exhaust, which is very cool. Yeah, so nice little moon ice pickup truck there. But yeah, he does not want to stay in place, does he? It's got too much weight on the back. Let's try and reverse him there. There we go. Cool. All right, and uh, another one that uh, kind of fell, and I'm I'm a little bit sad about that because I don't. Uh, this is the first time I'm going to crack one of these open, but unfortunately, my moon ice team's transport or team transport also fell off a shelf and crack smack in the middle here smack in the middle as you can see so first time cracking open a team transport let's get her done look at that clean clean crack there perfect cracking open let's get these out themed without actually expecting it on the get-go, but there we go. Got that open out of the package. And that is a pretty cool little nifty setup there. Yeah, all right, let's check these out. I wanna check to see how this uh, actually, you know, it's a little bit flimsy, but uh, once it's fixed in place, it's pretty solid. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, pretty, pretty flimsy. Yeah, okay. Put that back into place. Pretty easy to snap back in place at least, but yeah, let's check on the details on this. Very cool. Yes, yes. These are always, like, be it the cool combis, the regular T1 buses that are slammed there, the cargo vans, or uh, as, as soon as you see, like even the drag buses, basically those without front liveries, uh, the front uh, front tampos for the lights and the uh, V-Dub insignia, they always look very naked to me. And this having those tampos is awesome. I love these wheels, by the way, the smaller diameter five slots. And it's got a cool black disc and uh, chrome lip finish on there. Again, moon eyes. Very cool. Nice details on the rear. It's definitely a nice little... Uh, Nice little car, and the, the V-Dub Beetle, that it's kind of got a drag setup going on. This is the first one I get uh, opened, premium or mainline. So, very cool, happy to be able to look at one of these a little bit more closely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you've got the, uh, you'll probably notice there, let's put this one here for now. Get these packaging remnants out of the way. There you go. You probably notice that um, there's like a gap eh, in between. Obviously, this is being air-cooled. Having that gap allows the air that flows over the car to give more cooling to the rear. Because uh, obviously, uh, the rake that it's got on there, if this is a drag car, well, it's going to need all the cooling it can get since it's going to be used and abused for uh, you know a few seconds at a time, but uh, really giving it all, all it's got. So... 
They used to do that with the original Fiat 500s though, as well, for uh, race versions, keep that uh, rear hatch open since they're both air-cooled. A little bit of a motorsport touch, but really, really nice cast. I love the wheels on here. These premium wheels are really cool, I find. And it sits so well. It sits so well on the uh, transporter here. Um, last crack that we're going to actually be doing. I actually showed this off not too long ago as well in my Best in Pairs episode. And I know I showed you how this Johnny Lightning uh, Toyota Land Cruiser had a cracked blister. So today it's getting completely cracked open. Haven't cracked a Johnny in quite some time. And here we are. I'm gonna just park these Moon Eyes cars over here. Like so. There we go. Put this uh, little Chevy over here. And yeah, this is going to be the last car we're going to crack open today. So, uh, oh, got a little bit of a mounting issue on this side here. Yep, this tire was rubbing against, uh, against the fender a little bit. So managed to fix that up. Yeah, axles are not uh, in the best of shape. Yeah, this is a pretty bad roller, honestly. There's a tire that's off the rim. Yeah, not not uh not a very good roller. This is a yeah, slightly defective one. It's kind of disappointing, but at the end of the day, it's not like I'm gonna really play with it. I mean, these are no good on the track, and they're really very good as display pieces, so. All in all, I mean, it's a great cast. You've got the opening hood with the engine detail in there, which is really, really cool. See a little bit there. Yeah, very well done. Yeah, as I said, it's got a slightly tweaked axle seemingly on the front. Nicely detailed throughout. I'm assuming this is probably removable, but I'm not going to test my luck because this is plastic as opposed to the rest that's all body, including the chassis that's uh, that's uh, black metal as well. Check out that base a little bit. Yeah, so uh, very cool tire uh, tread design. BFG uh, raised white lettering, matching spare. Cool uh, eight hole uh, off road type wheels. Could have used a little bit of a little bit extra detailing on the hinges and whatnot, but overall very very nice. And the rear end is very well done as well. And Nordads. I'm not sure exactly what that refers to, but yeah, it's got a plate. So there you go. Happy that uh, I get to crack a few more pieces that uh, either way uh, want, want it to be freed. So hopefully you enjoyed this little showcase. Um, you know, cool casts. Uh, more premiums that are free. So that uh, grows the uh, loose premium collection while uh, giving me a little bit more room <laughs> in regards to storage. So uh, yeah, uh, hopefully you have a great day and uh, happy hunting out there. All the best. Take care. Bye-bye.